appreciate that. We bring in Rafael Bernal of our partners at The Hill. Uh, 500,000 people coming to the border. Uh, the Texas governor posturing on this. The Biden administration seeming to have no plan. I'm trying to figure out how this ends well, and I can't come up with a scenario. Well, it's, I think that's exactly it, that the Biden administration, if it has a plan, it hasn't made it public. And, you know, there, there would be obviously no logical explanation to not make it public. And by not making a plan public, uh, the, the worry that that immigration observers across the board, Republicans, Democrats and everyone in the middle that knows about immigration, what they're worried about is that human smugglers will take this lack of information and spin it to actually get get people get migrants to to think that 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 u.s border measures have been relaxed whether or not they have been and it'll just make it'll just make the problem worse and really pos possibly in the worst case scenario completely overwhelm the border patrols well, yeah, and cbp's yeah, yeah. capacity to manage these migrants we, whether they have good asylum claims or not yeah as we've reported a lot cbp says they're already overwhelmed right they're already having to, to place tens of thousands of people on buses and planes and dropping them off all over texas you double or triple the number of people who are coming across it just breaks the system obviously the cartels know that i'm interested in sort of how the white house is trying to play uh, Governor Abbott's move of busing people to Washington, D.C. Take a listen to Jen Psaki today. Nobody can forcibly be put on a bus. They would have to voluntarily be put on the bus. And if there are concerns about that, we would expect they would contact appropriate authorities. Who has the upper hand in this, the White House or Governor Abbott? It, it seems that Governor Abbott may have overreached in the sense that even some of his allies, even some people who would want to hit and lash out at the Biden administration, do see this as a political stunt. Because, I mean, oh, yeah, frankly, Raphael, it serves you and I've been very in Washington, little purpose. Yeah, but Raphael, you and I have been in Washington for a long time. Political stunts are done because they work. Yeah. Oh, Oh, right. Yeah. It's a, the, the, the trick with political stunts is to not get caught in the stunt, to make <laughs> it enough. seem like you have a policy behind it. And, and really, one bus of migrants, and especially considering that the migrants had to volunteer for this bus, and they came from Cuba, Venezuela, and Nicaragua, most of them. I think there were also some yeah. Colombians. You can really make a good case for asylum coming from these authoritarian countries. I mean, it, it is... It is when credible to, that somebody from Nicaragua would be scared. Yeah, no, understand. When you talk to Democrats from border states and from states that have large illegal immigrant populations that are seeing this, these waves of people coming in, are they worried that a breakdown at the border, which is coming this summer, uh, will be politically untenable for them, that they cannot continue to support the Biden administration like we've seen from the senators of Arizona, like we've seen from Joe Manchin? So that's a, that's a really good question because some Democrats from border states, especially Texas Democrats, not so much Arizona, uh, well, so, a bit of Arizona, but not so much New Mexico and California, they know that, for instance, immigrants tend to don't bring more crime, really, like statistically, they just don't. Like all studies, all serious studies show it. But they do bring discomfort to border communities and they do bring they do overwhelm social services if, if just a lot of people whether they come from nicaragua or you know anywhere in the united states it doesn't matter but if if yeah, 500 but, 000 people show up you know they're it, going it, the, to the images, overwhelm the social services yeah the images speak for themselves too and you just think about democrats having to deal during the campaign with thousands of people living under a bridge like they did in del rio multiply that out times 500 000 people and it's it's an issue. Uh, Raphael, we appreciate it. Thank you. Great point about political stunts. I had not gotten there yet. It was uh, an apt <laughs> point. Well done. That's true. Yeah, appreciate it. it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.